In 1991, eight people entered a huge glass dome. Their task was to live in complete isolation from the outside world for 24 months. This must have been the most ambitious human experiment called Biosphere 2. A large-scale project to create a closed system in which people had to provide themselves with food, water, and air. It was a private project by billionaire Edward Bass, inspired by ecologist John Allen. The $150 million and 13,000 square kilometers of land in Arizona, USA were allocated for this project. Under the glass dome, there was an agricultural farm with goats, chickens, and pigs, a savanna, jungles with 250 species of insects, an ocean with coral reefs, and pools with fish and shrimp. Over 3,000 species of plants were imported to create the jungles. It was an ambitious idea that was supposed to have a great future, as Biosphere 2 could have been the first step towards colonizing life on Mars, for example. But everything did not go according to plan. Shortly after the experiment began, there was a disruption. One of the participants accidentally severed the tip of her middle finger. Despite the presence of a doctor among the participants who tried to help her, she had to be evacuated. She received the necessary medical assistance and returned to the project after seven hours. After the completion of the project, the participants gave multiple interviews, sharing their impressions and talking about the difficulties. For example, one participant spent about four months to make a pizza because she had to manually harvest wheat, feed and milk goats daily to get cheese. Food was a real issue in the project. The animals were not reproducing quickly and the crop yield was limited due to unfavorable weather conditions. Chicken or fish was only eaten on Sundays, finishing everything on their plates to avoid losing essential calories. Despite the regular health tests conducted on the participants, their health noticeably improved on such a diet cholesterol, glucose and insulin levels decreased, and blood pressure normalized. In reality, they lost a significant amount of weight and lacked energy because the calorie intake was calculated for a person living in the normal world, while in Biosphere 2, they had to work physically hard for long periods. While the calorie intake was somewhat sufficient for the women, it was extremely challenging for the men. The troubles didn't end there. The biggest problem became the decrease in oxygen levels under the dome. In 16 months, it dropped from 21% to 14%. The participants felt as if they were constantly at high altitudes. In the midst of the oxygen shortage, the savanna biome collapsed. The moisture accumulating on the stream created a continuous rain. Microflora started living its own life, and mold grew everywhere. In the artificial ocean, coral reefs started dying due to excessive absorption of carbon dioxide. Additionally, despite the measures taken, cockroaches managed to infiltrate the sealed system and their population grew exponentially. This led to even greater oxygen consumption, which was already in severe deficit. The participants of the experiment were slowly dying, so the decision was made to supply oxygen from the outside. Amidst constant food and oxygen deprivation, conflicts arose, leading to the division of the team into two groups. One group believed that some scientific work should be delegated to scientists outside the experiment, sacrificing full isolation. The other group insisted on the purity of the experiment and maintaining isolation. The victory went to the second group, and the project was completed as planned after two years. Currently, Arizona University conducts multiple experiments at the site of Biosphere 2 and tours are also organized there. Despite the fact that for most people, Biosphere 2 is considered a failed experiment, it is still an important experience that allowed for numerous significant conclusions. The most important of them was left by a project participant in the form of a message inside the dome only here, did we realize how dependent we are on the surrounding nature. If there are no trees, we will have nothing to breathe. If the water becomes polluted, we will have nothing to drink. There are also other conclusions. Firstly, it is currently beyond human capability to calculate everything in such a way as to create a replica of Earth's ecosystem where everything functions as it should, 
without collapsing due to some cockroaches. At least it was beyond our capabilities in 1991. From this follows the conclusion that it is still too early to build a colony on Mars.